Hello everyone. Welcome back to files. So here in the last session, we have seen the usage of F open and F close. Let's also see the usage of exit. Whenever you have some error in opening the file, so then we need an emergency exit. So in that case, we can make use of this exit. Okay. So this exit is part of stdlib.h library. So this you need to include if you want to make use of this exit. Let's see the syntax of how we can use with the help of an example. Okay. So we are declaring a file pointer. And here I'm also showing you a way of how to give a input. That means the in the fopen, the first argument is the file name, right? So that file name as a string input, how you can supply that also I'll show you. So here you can see we have taken a string called file name and we have given the name myfile.dat. Okay, so that we are supplying here. Okay, the name of the string we are giving here followed by the mode. So this is also one of the way where you can supply the file name. And here we are saying if fptr is equals to null, then we will say cannot open file to write. Then we are using exit of, exit of minus one. So the, with the help of this, you will come out of the file. And then we are using fprintf. I'll talk about this fprintf later. Then we are using f close of fptr. So let's see the usage of this. Let's have a hands-on. So for this, I'm using uh, the existing file only. One second, let me modify this main definition. So the second way that we have seen is giving a file name here with the help of a string, passing a string argument here. That's what, that's what the second way we have seen, right? So let me name it as F name. Just, and let's declare a string. Name of the string is F name. Okay, see it doesn't type string data type. So we have to take care F name of and let's initialize it with the file name that we want. Okay, so this time let's make it as example three dot that. And let's try to open it in append mode. Okay, so in the append mode, you will not get any error. So let's, since this is a new file, if we are opening it in read mode, then we will get an error, right? So then let's make the use, use of exit. Exit of minus one. Let's save the code. Now let's compile it. See, incompatible implicit declaration of built-in function exit. Why it is saying so? I have not added the header file stdlib.h. As we have seen, exit is part of stdlib.h header file. So you have to include this. This troubleshooting also you should be knowing. So only I'm showing you this purposefully. Error in opening the file because this is a new file and I'm trying to open it in read mode. So then with the help of exit, what is happening? It will come out of the file and it will close the file. Okay, so this is how we can use, make use of exit. And I'll, I will, here I have shown you the usage of how we can give a string as a file name. Okay, so to this string, here I have initialized. If you want, even you can read this also. Let's see that also. Instead of initializing like this. Okay. 
let's use printf slash n. Let's write a comment. Enter. File name. Using scanf, we can read. Okay, what is the access specifier that we will be using to read a string? It is percentile s. Ampersand is not required since you are reading a string. Okay, let's read it. Okay, since we are not initializing, array will ask you for some size. Let's specify some size. And now let's run it. Enter a file name. Okay, so now let's give file four dot txt some random name I'm supplying. Okay, it is saying error in opening the file. What is the reason? Why it is saying error in opening the file? Because we have opened it in read mode. Okay, so same thing if you supply, if you try to open it in write mode, then you will not have this error. If you enter a file name. File 4.txt opening the file in write mode. Okay. So this is how we can make use of exit and also have shown you how to supply a string as a file name. And I'll show you one more way of supplying file name with the help of command line arguments. And this I have done with the help of Turbo C++ for those who are using this. So here you can see main will accept two arguments. One is ARGC, which is of integer type. This will return you the number of arguments that you are supplying here. And then cas star ARGV. So this is a character pointer. This will hold the names that you will supply. Okay, so you can supply an array. This is an array pointer. So you can supply any number of strings that you want. Okay, so that count will be returned by this ARGC. Okay, first thing, ARGV of zero, this will give you, ARGV of one will contain the file name. Okay, so here if you see, I'm supplying ARGV of one as, since it is the file name. Okay, this ARGV of one will contain the first argument, which is the file name. Zero is the name with which we have invoked the file. So that is file one dot C. Okay, so like that you can supply any number of arguments and uh, you can call that by using the index similar to how you are accessing an array with an index. So then in the same way here also you can access the elements of this ARGV. And here we are once again checking if fp is equals to null, then we are saying error in file opening and then exit of minus one. Otherwise, what we are doing, print the number of arguments. ARGC is integer, so we are giving the access specifier of percentile D, ARGC, and then the name of the file, which is percentile S, ARGV of one. Let me show you how to execute this. Okay, so in order to execute this, first of all, go to options, then go to directories, then see what is your output directory. So your output directory is C colon slash turbo C3 source. Okay, so in this output directory only, you can execute your file. Okay, so before doing that, first of all, you have to compile your program and then run it. Okay, so that your .exe file is ready and then go to DOS shell. And here already I have set it to source. So then directly here you can give your file one dot exe file. We cannot work with the C file. So we have to work with an exe file only. If you make any modifications to your code, then compile it and run it again so that a fresh exe file will be created. And now here you can supply the file name. So in the file name of any of your choice. So I'm giving sample.txt. So this is the file name I'm supplying. So here you can see 
the number of arguments that we have supplied are two what are the two first one is the file name which is file1.c and second one is name of the text file that we are giving okay the file which we which you are opening that is sample.txt okay so this is how you can supply and if you want to come out of this you have to use the command exit okay so in this we have seen so in this session totally we have seen how to make use of exit so in this we have seen the usage of exit and how to supply the file name as a string input and also we have seen how to supply the file name as a command line argument hope you enjoyed the session if you have any queries please let me know in the chat section if you like the video please do like comment share with many of those who are in need don't forget to subscribe thank you